Charge us to the tunnels! on their heels. Keep it up! The seal's clear! Prime the charges! Now! Set the charges!
Inquisitor, meet Lieutenant Wren, a veteran of the Fifth Flight and one of the Legion's finest commanders. <laughs> Someone paid her to say that. Appreciate the help, Inquisitor. Collapsing that seal bought us time. Blighters had the run of these tunnels for days. Now they have a roadblock. How many deep roads are there? How deep do they go? They'll take you from one side of Thetis to the other, if you have a death wish. The roads once connected dwarven cities that were hundreds of miles apart. Then came the Darkspawn. Ren and I have been exploring this region, reclaiming it, but the work is slow. Mark the map, fight an army, mark the map, fall in a hole, and so on. I get the impression you two have known each other a while. Yeah. The Shaper had sent her to dig up some relics. Asked me to keep her out of trouble. That was three years ago. You can quit any time. Not when we still have things to fight about. We can't give the Darkspawn a chance to regroup. Let's hit them again before they mount another attack. Normally, that would be the plan, but there is a complication. Tremors? It's clearer, stronger, more insistent. I hear it. Doesn't prove a thing. These quakes are not a natural disaster. They're deliberate. There's an intelligence behind them. How could an earthquake be caused deliberately? We get plenty of natural tremors down here. These are different. She thinks she knows why. I found an ancient text during an expedition with Ren last year. At the time, it was just a curiosity. But now? The text describes giant creatures, called titans, living deep underground. They sing in the stone, shaping it. When these quakes began, I believe we heard that rhythm. I believe a titan is causing all this destruction. I've never heard of Titans before. What else can you tell me about them? The text I found predated the First Blight. Its pages had mostly rotted away. And there's no mention of the Titans in Orzammar's memories. Which tells you something. You speak of the stone like it's more than walls. The stone is eternal. She was here before us, and remains after we die. But the stone isn't your god. We don't worship her. 
but we do respect and honor her. The stone makes us strong, and we return that strength to her when we die. It's difficult to express in words. In my experience, no explanation is too strange to consider. For all we know, that text you found was a bedtime story. We can't be sure until we find the source. The rhythm I sense in the quakes is emanating from somewhere far below. The stone will lead us there. And if it comes to a fight, that'll be our job. There's a lift at the side passage nearby. Ready when you are. <laughs> 